I saw immediately the, didn't understand fully, but the uh, emotions, the psychological states of people uh, about to undergo surgery or post-surgery or had strokes or, um, you know, lost limbs and so on, had uh, cancer and frightening diagnoses. The field itself has evolved a great deal. You have evolved a great deal. So uh, in comparison, where do you see your ideas evolve right. as an art therapist? OK. Right, that's a, that's a good question. Um, my ideas were, how do I develop this, merge this, substantiate this in medicine with medical issues? And even though I was now in the course of and then fin finished getting formally trained, none of that included medical art therapy. So early on, I longed for the field to evolve in that, shall we call it, subspecialty. I really felt like the odd man out, but felt so certain that this was the right thing. That begs a question. I mean, you've been on the vanguard of, and the forefront of so many uh, issues and changes that we've gone through as a country. I mean, when people right. were writing about art therapy with HIV, oh. it was you. Firstly, you have to realize I, I work in a hospital that is the you know, trauma center of the city. Uh, we have had now um, for whew, well over a decade uh, a unit set up on our uh, pulmonary uh, floor uh, that is an isolation and quarantine unit. So um, that unit, first of all, we, we've had a very long-standing, very successful art therapy program. Uh, clinical goals are, you know, all of the basic, express yourself, you're in isolation, um, all of that, but also it, in my view, it brings the humanity into restricted quarters. And this is like a return of sanatoria days. But even sanatoria, people could be out in the sun as long as they didn't have airborne tra transmitted pulmonary TB. So, um, but in this case, patients, um, while they're still infectious, have to be in a private room. So it really bring it broadens their world. We would bring in, you know, photos of, of landscapes and realism, and um, and also have to think about and deal with the fact our own feelings about having to wear personal protective equipment, what's called in the medical communities, PPE. and e We go in with our mouths covered with, with not just a simple mask, but a specially fitted um, covering um, called a particulate respirator. Um, so we must take care of ourselves, not only emotionally, but also in terms of our own um, uh, physical well-being. But it enters the therapeutic relationship, right? Yeah. So we have to think about what we look like to patients. Uh, we have to modify or we have to make compensatory efforts to create that therapeutic alliance that Edith Kramer talked about. Yeah. That. Uh, Urban Yalom talks about, right, because patients can't hear a facial expression. Right. Um, you know, I lean forward more. I mean, there are various things that we do to help, you know, modify that. Um, but you also have the art. But we, exactly. We have the art and uh, people, you know, actually they really remain more compliant to treatment because of a positive experience, feeling better about themselves, feeling motivated.